and his fears become reality. Welcome to Fear Factor. Each show, six contestants from around the country battle each other in three extreme stunts. These stunts are designed to challenge the contestants both physically and mentally. If a contestant is too afraid to complete a stunt, they're eliminated. There's no way I'm jumping in there, there's no way. If they fail a stunt, they're eliminated. But if they succeed, they move one step closer to the grand prize, $50,000. Six contestants, three stunts, one winner. Yes! Woo! Fear Factor. I'm Joe Rogan, welcome to Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were designed and supervised by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. I think it's very important for people to confront their fears, and I'm excited to see what I can do. I think the one in the money is obviously the point here, but the experience of doing these crazy stunts is really what I'm after. If I win, I'm taking a big, long trip. I think there are higher forces at work here, so I'm pretty confident. I just feel fortunate to be here today. Money would be great, but I'd, I'd really like to meet some new people. I'm just looking forward to being scared. I'm a little older than the others, and with age comes experience, so I think that gives me a slight advantage. I'm constantly pushing myself to new levels. If there's something I can't do, I, I just try harder and, and never quit. Well, you six people have been brought here from all over the country for one reason stare fear in the eye and compete for $50,000. Now to win the money, you're gonna have to complete three extreme stunts. Stunts that'll not only test you physically, but mentally as well. Now if you are too afraid to attempt a stunt, you are immediately eliminated. If you try a stunt but fail to complete it, you're out. But if you succeed, you move on to the next round, and you're that much closer to $50,000. Now I want you to remember that this is a game. So strategy is always a part of it. Feel free to mess with each other's minds, play with each other's heads. Gamesmanship is always welcome. You are out to win. You don't care what they think. You are out to win. All right, well, let's move on to your first stunt. Come on. All right, guys, well, here we are on the second floor. We're about 20 feet up. It's not too high, right? Nothing to be scared of. Well, for your first stunt, we're gonna go a little higher than this about 100 feet higher. We're gonna call this stunt the human wrecking ball. And what happens is we're gonna hook you up to a harness and attach you to a cable and hoist you up over 120 feet in the air. You're gonna have a release cord. You're gonna let it go. When you let it go, you're gonna come hurling down towards the earth at over 50 miles an hour. At your lowest point, you're gonna be just a couple of feet off the ground. You're not gonna hit it though, so don't worry. What you will hit, however, is that wooden sign down there. You're gonna come crashing through it. It's gonna disorient you. When you hit there, you're gonna let go of a sandbag. Your goal is to get as close to the center of that bullseye as you can. Now, the two people who get the furthest from the center of the bullseye will automatically be eliminated today. Now, you don't have to do this. If you're afraid, you can back out right now, but you will lose your shot at getting $50,000. Does anybody have any questions? Does anybody want to bail right now? No? Good, all right. Now, I know you all have ID tags with your names on them, so why don't you chuck them in here? And I'll pick them out, and we'll see who goes first. All right. All right, Ben, you're first. All right, everybody ready? Well, let's head downstairs and get you guys suited up. Come on. Let's do it. What do you think, Ben? <laughs> oh, man, I'm shaking in my shoes, bro. Are you scared of heights? Horrified. 
So this is the safety line. You don't want to get any closer than this line. So if you all could just stand back in this area, that'll be cool. Especially when he comes crashing through and everything splinters all over the place. Just stay right over here. You think we'll be more scared now or after we see him do it? Probably after we see him do Probably it. Probably so. <laughs> That's why I'm thinking it's not bad, him being the first. What's Especially. the most dangerous thing you've ever done, dude? Wow, I don't know, probably driving a car or having sex. Having sex? With Very person. dangerous. Is it? Yeah. Remind me not to go to Ben's house for a sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I can, I will. How's your coordination and dropping from height skills? That's the tricky part, man. Because I think we're going to be moving forward Very pretty fast. fast. You got to strategize. See, you don't have the benefit of watching other people screw up first, That's either. That's true. Mm. You're going to go horizontal, yeah. dude. This is your Superman position. Hi. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm hovering. This is not right. I am. All right, now remember, once you get up there, you have a minute to let go. If you do not let go within that minute and pull that latch, then you're Where's eliminated. He's loving every minute of this, you know me. He's a psycho. <laughs> I wish I wasn't going first so I could gauge just what it takes to nail that target. Look at me, this is a really big mistake. <laughs> All right, Ben, you got one minute. What do you guys think? That's high. I think that I'd be lying if I told you I wasn't afraid of heights at all, because, I mean, if you're up high, you can fall down and die. or something. Man, the impact when I hit the wall was really hard. It threw me off balance. I didn't know when to drop the bag. How close do you think you got? Uh, I'd say that's 60 foot. 73 feet. 73. 73 feet. Now, if he throws one of the two furthest, you're going home. I think I'm going home today, man. You might have to go home to Georgia today. Yeah. You might be going home. We strap Emily in here. I can't believe I'm doing this. Ah, oh, come on, you'll be fine. It's gonna be fun. You tell your grandkids about it someday. I'm right. What's the craziest I... thing you've ever done before? Um, I did skydive. Did you really? Yeah, but that's different. Why is it different? Because you have no conception of how high you are when really? you're in that plane. <laughs> oh. They said try to put your hands out front when you hit the wall. They do? Yeah. Or are you just telling me that's how I'll break my wrist? No, he'll tell you. <laughs> he'll tell you the same. How are you feeling? Nervous. I really want to see someone cute. That'd be cool. What's the, the most of your worries right now? Well, I'm going to be conscious after I hit that wall. I am not too certain about this whole thing. Seeing Ben go first was helpful, but yet it made me very nervous. So how do you think she's going to do here? I don't know. You know, she looks a little nervous. OK, you've got one minute to let go. I don't know if she's going to do it. Congratulations. The scariest part of the stunt was definitely hanging up there. 
and you have to pull the ripcord yourself and you're 120 feet in the air and you're, you look like you're going to plummet straight towards the earth and go right through it. It's insane. All right, Julius, you're next. Yeah, what are you baby. thinking right now? I'm ready to rock. You ready to take this? I'm ready to rock. You ready to drop it right on the, I'm ready right to rock. On the spot? I ain't come all the way down here. I hear you. Do not Chicago. So you think you're going to walk away with the 50 grand at the end of three days? Yes. Yes, look at that. Confidence. <laughs> this is your bean bag. All right. This guy's all business. And that all, yeah, he is. He's not messing around. No. He's here for the cash. I would think my biggest competition is Julius. I think he's just, he's just so driven. I tried out for the XFL, Las Vegas Outlaws, and I, and I didn't happen to make the squad. I love football. I just apply the same uh, techniques and, and strategies and, and discipline to every day in life. I'm here for one reason, <laughs> and, uh, and that's to win. I'll take it, baby. I'll take it. So you got 36 feet, 2 inches. Let's hope your throw is one of the four best, or you're out of here. And you're very lucky because you ran into Emily's pad on the way. I think my biggest competition is Julius. He's a natural athlete, which gives him a, a bit of an advantage in, in anything we do. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. Are you ready? Did you learn anything from uh, the three people that went before you? Not a thing. I think the older I get, the more important it is to challenge myself. I'm always asking, like, can I do this? Can I overcome my fears? I'm constantly trying new things, and to get through something like this, it would be incredible. Check you out. See, you were all worried, but it turned out that you were the one in the lead. All right, Derek. Let's get you laced up. Oh, what I'm thinking about actually, watching everyone else, feels like uh, Luke Skywalker at the end of right. at the end of the first Star Wars. Right. When he turns off the computer, right. he just goes with the Force on when to drop. Ah. You know, end of the generator to right. blow up the Death Star. Right. So that's what we're gonna do. You yeah. use the Force. Let's play Luke Skywalker. Check you out, dude. I got involved in the fear factor for the sheer challenge of it. It's so rare in our everyday lives that we have an opportunity to face our fears, to be really pushed to do what we never thought possible before. Now you understand that he do, if he does better than you right now, you're gone. Absolutely, man. He's using the force, so you can oh, use the dark side. The too. Okay, you have one minute to let go now. Good night, guys. Ben, we gotta send you walking. Thanks for playing the game. All right, man. Had a good time. Yeah. Take Glad care of yourselves. Good, good luck, guys. Bye, Do something nice with the 50 grand. Bye. Take it easy, dude. Bye, man. <laughs> Looking back on it, it seems so easy. If I could do it again, I know I wouldn't be going home right now. What do you think, Derek? The force failed you, dude. You gotta get somebody to screw up worse than you. Ashley, you ready to rock and roll? I'm totally ready to rock and roll. You ready to knock Derek out of the box? I think so. Yeah. So if you win it, what are you gonna do with the money? Um, my boyfriend and I have been talking about getting married, so oh. I think I'll have a wedding. <laughs> How long have you been going, to, going together? Three years. She's gonna can. smoke them. Smoke them? Yeah. Because she's a woman? Yeah. Is this a girl boy thing? Really? No, I'm, I'm just saying I think it's kind of cool that all the chicks are pulling through. Okay, let her up. <laughs> she's doing it for her future husband. Derek, if Ashley gets closer than you did, you're walking.
I didn't expect crashing through the wall to throw me off as much as it did. I dropped it as soon as I could possibly focus and tried getting it on the target, but it just didn't work. Oh, bye guys! Derek, you're in, dude. I'm lucky. Ashley, all you had to do was beat Derek, but you did not, so I we didn't. have to send you packing. Thanks for playing, though. You made it. <laughs> Later, bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, guys. All I had to do was beat Derek and I was in. I was in control of my own destiny and I blew it. Derek, you made it through in a nail biter. The force came through for you. Look at you pulling in number one, you pulling in number two, Julius. How are you guys feeling? Good. Good. Now, does anybody have any ideas that you might be seeing tomorrow? Anybody want to hazard a guess? No. No? <laughs> what are your main fears? What are you guys most afraid you're going to see tomorrow? Julius? Water. Water? Hmm. Well, I can't tell you what it is, but I can tell you we're going to have a good time tomorrow. Oh. So, congratulations, and uh, hey, let's get out of here. I was really surprised at how well the women did yesterday. They absolutely stomped the guys. But I think right now I have to say that my biggest competition is Julius. His determination is what worries me the most. Definitely nervous about what's gonna happen. When I decided to do Fear Factor, I was more in it just for the fun and just for the experience. I really didn't think I had a chance at winning $50,000. And basically now all I have to do is beat three people and the money's mine. So I'm starting to think about the money now. I feel like I'm stressing out way more than anyone else. They all seem really, really mellow. I gotta keep calm and focused or I am gonna lose it. I've been messing around with them a little bit, you know, trying to see where they are mentally so I can find out their weaknesses. That's, that's how I gotta look at things. I have to attack them in any way possible. You know, getting through the day is a sure thing for me. I'm taking home the money definitely, period. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing today? Good. Congratulations on making it this far. How's everybody feeling? Feeling good? Hi. Mm -hmm. Good. Here we are, day two, huh? Four people left here at the diner. Is this a cool place? Yeah. It's a nice diner, right? Yes. Everybody loves a diner, right? Yes. Traditional diner food like burgers and fries and shakes. It's all great, right? Well, today we're going to order a little off the menu way off the menu. Here is your next stunt. What? Those are buffalo testicles. <laughs> you are gonna have to eat two buffalo testicles. <laughs> You're wrong. Is your next stunt. What? You are gonna have to eat two buffalo testicles. Now that's what they look like raw. We wouldn't have you eat them raw. That would just be sick. So we have graciously decided to boil them for you. It's rock, Pop. You something smell funky in here. It smells, it reeks. You will have four minutes in which time you must consume two of those. Now here's how it works. <laughs> you have to pull it open and eat the meaty core. You have to eat all of it, or two of them. Now you can back out now, you don't have to do it, but you will lose your shot at winning $50,000. And also, if you don't eat the two of them within the four minutes, you're eliminated as well. <laughs> wrong. I'm just, I'm, I'm more worried about the amount the amount? I know what it is. Are you hungry? No. No? Huh? Force yourself. 50 grand. Anybody have any questions? Oh my god. Whoa. Well, how's everybody feeling? <laughs> Julius, you okay? Yeah. Can you drink with it? No. No, you cannot drink. You can't um, spit it up either. If you spit up any of it, gone. You, you can throw up. Spit it up or gone. throw up at no. any point. At any point. They're so big, man. <laughs> Do you want to back out? 
I just don't know if I could physically, humanly eat all that in that amount of time. Well, lucky for you, you don't have to go first, because we have randomly selected who's going to be our first contestant here, and it's going to be Derek. You ready to rock and roll? Absolutely. Oh, my God. Yeah? OK. I'll, uh, here they are, freshly boiled for you. I must remind you, you cannot hold your nose. If you hold your nose, you will be disqualified. Your four minutes will begin as soon as I hit the bell. Ready? Probably not what I would have chosen. I mean, my mom never made these growing up. <laughs> this is so bad. I can't do it. Emily, you doing okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Emily, you look like you're hurting a lot worse than Derek over here. You gotta eat all that, dude. There you go. Can I drink the juice afterwards? You can if you like. <laughs> I love it. Emily, you look like you're ready. <laughs> you have almost two minutes to go. Am I cool on all these membranes? Can you check those for me, please? You have to check them for yourself. This is insane. This is stupid. You're next. I ain't doing that. No? You gonna back out? And let these guys win 50 grand? Derek's, Derek's a savage. Look at him. Man. They're huge. They're huge. They're huge. I thought like a little meatball was gonna come <laughs> it's popping out. It's a buffalo. <laughs> it's not a monkey. <laughs> Dude, you get a round of applause from me. All right, let's see that. Let's move that. Well, yeah, looks good. Mm. Looks like you got it all. Two minutes and 50 seconds. Chew it all down and you're good. Swallow it. <clears throat> That's good. He's out. Wow. Whew. Okay. Ah, me. Alyssa? Yes. You ready to get the party started? I'm not scared to do it. I just don't think I can do it. Do you not want to do it? Bring him out, but I, I, don't, I don't think I can do that. Oh, man. You don't think you can do it? Are you going to do it? I'll t I'll t bring him out, Joe, okay. but I don't think I can do that. Right, I, Alyssa. I just don't think I can do that. There you go. <laughs> Your time will begin as soon as I hit this bell. Ready? <clears throat> you ready? <laughs> you have four minutes. <clears throat> Yummy. Remember, this is $50,000. I'm done. You quit? <laughs> I quit. I quit. I quit. She calls uncle at 25 seconds. $50,000? No way, dude. That, that, if I had to imagine what a testicle would taste like, that is exactly what it would be. That is exactly what it would be. Derek just stood up like a soldier for the cause. I'm a texture girl. A texture girl? I can't even eat, I cannot eat raw, I can't eat. I'm a texture girl. I can't eat raw clams. Let's move on, man. Okay. Let's rock. Well, I'm sorry, but this is it for you. Thank you for playing the game. It was nice Bye. meeting you. Take care. Bye, guys. Good luck. <clears throat> Woo! Emily? How are you feeling, Emily? You ready to party? I don't know. You can do it, girl. You can do it. Emily, $50,000. Do you want to do this? I don't know. Your four minutes start at the bell. Ready? <clears throat> Come on, Emily, you can do it. This is the most disgusting thing I've ever in my life. It's all right, think Don't. about it. $50,000, all you have to do is just get through it. No matter what, you know, it's only down to three people now. <sighs> You're okay, just think about how Derek just chowed it down. <clears throat> you can do it. Oh 
<laughs> no. I hate you. Come on, Emily, you can do it. Oh my god. That's it? Mm hmm She backed out. Dang. One minute. I can't do it. What happened? I'm like gagging. But you left the fifty thousand dollars to these two guys. Oh, just, yeah. just couldn't handle it. I, I was gonna throw Wait. it up anyway. Really? <clears throat> yes. You ate a chunk. It was rancid. I have it in my teeth right now. I'm sick. Derek, how did you just do that? You just chowed it without any problems at all. Was that the force again? Did you I use didn't the force? Invoke, I did not invoke the force today. <laughs> Only Whatever. dire circumstances do I invoke the force. Whatever. I'm sorry, Emily. Thank you. You just couldn't <clears throat> handle it. $50,000. Couldn't get through it. I couldn't do it. Well, thank you for playing. Thank, thank you for getting this far. And I hope you had fun at least. I did. Okay. I Good. Had a blast. Boys. I love you. Take care. Ta ta. Nice and then there was two. That means one of you is walking away with $50,000. Julius, to be one of those, all you have to do is eat the twins. You ready for this? One of you is walking away with $50,000. Julius, to be one of those, all you have to do is eat the twins. You ready for this? On the bell, you're gonna have four minutes. Ready? Mmm, yummy. Getting juice on me, Joe. <laughs> this is for all my brothers in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. I gotta get that little part too. You're good. <laughs> Is it having, you having a more of a hard time watching yeah, it? Yeah, I am. Than I'm actually eating yourself? This at all. I'll tell you, Emily, when Emily was watching you eat it, I thought she was gonna hurl before she even <laughs> got a couple of them in front of her. That's for all my football buddies back at school, man. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? Just okay, so let's get, like let's get it straight. You're well. dedicating the first one to the people in Africa? <laughs> yeah. You know, and you can't let food go to waste. I you know hear you. Right? And the second one is to all your football buddies. You know, my football buddies back in Minnesota State, man. They probably think I'm crazy, but look. Do you feel strengthened? Oh, we had a moment of weakness. <laughs> no, never, never weak, baby. Not a weakness, but a moment of uh, concern. That was my moment. You know, that was it. Enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. So you saved it. You're stopping the smell of the roses, Joe. Ah, oh, smell of the roses. So to speak. You only have a minute left now. Okay, we're at 45 seconds left. All I have to do is finish that. Just Those are good. Those are fine. Just swallow what you got, and you're good to go. That's kind of stuck in my teeth. Open. Be good. With nine seconds to spare, have a napkin. Whoa. Like a soldier. Oh. You hear me? <coughs> what, baby? What? Huh? <laughs> what? Huh? What? What? <laughs> that goes. Ready to celebrate your day? Hey, yeah, ready. <laughs> Now here we are, two left. Who's gonna win it, Derek? I think it's anybody's ball game right now. Really? Really. Not according to Julius. <laughs> Julius thinks it's a one-man show. One man, I'm going to get it. You hear me? You're gonna I'm get hungry. it. You're gonna I get just, it. Hey, I'm, I'm hungry. Look, give me some more testicles. You want another one? You can eat that one right there. No, I'm straight. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were good. What happened? Some hair, baby. <laughs> Did you guys think the girls were gonna fall off that easy? We had an advantage today. What's that? 
The fact that boys grow up doing disgusting stuff, stuff like this. I can't go home without eating them testicles, man. I, mean, I get beat up or something, you know. <laughs> so do you think it was more disgusting in your mind than it was actually doing mind it? Mind over matter. The most yeah, disgusted I, I was during this whole process was watching him eat those. Really? Yeah. I, I believe that my manners are much more refined than my friend here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you ate it he made more way cleanly. too much noise chewing mm. on those things. It was really? Bad, man. Mm. Hey. My dad will definitely be very proud of me when he, when he sees this. Why is that? Back when he was about my age, I believe, he was traveling through New Orleans on business. He and a buddy of his went into a bar, and he set the record at this place on Bourbon Street in New Orleans for most raw oysters eaten on the half shell at one sitting. I think he ate 206. It's your destiny mm. to eat the testicles. I guess. It truly is. <laughs> All right, well, that's it. We move on to tomorrow, and one of you is going to walk away with $50,000. Sounds good. All right, let's blow this popsicle stand. Let's do it. Why? I feel like I performed the best out of everyone yesterday, and I'm very confident going in today. What I'm concerned with is the victory, beating Julius, performing better than him today. That's all I'm thinking about right now. I'm, I'm getting the vibes that maybe he's a little bit worried about the water thing. My motivation comes from, most importantly, God, yes. I believe I can do anything. Uh, my spirit is very, very strong. I don't have a clue on what the challenge may be, but whatever it is, I'm up for it. I am walking away with the winnings today. What's up, guys? Yo, what's up? How what's are up, you? Little baby. Congratulations on making it here to day three. Thank you very much. How you guys feeling? Feeling good? Feeling good, yeah. Cool, all right, baby. Feeling good. Well, you've survived the human wrecking ball. Derek, I thought we were going to lose you there, but you got through. The force saved you, and you redeemed yourself by uh, Chowing the Buffalo Twins and setting the standard for everybody right. else. Julius, you stepped up in the Buffalo Twins as well. And here we are, the final stunt. Yeah. One of you is going to walk away today with $50,000. Right. Ready to see your stunt? Let's do it. You guys are going to be strapped into the front seat of that car. The car will be lowered back down into the water. You will hold your breath, undo your seatbelt, climb into the back seat. There will be a baby doll in a baby seat. You will unstrap the baby doll, climb back into the front seat, roll down the window, climb out of the car, swim to the shore, and put the baby doll in the bassinet. The fastest person to do it is going to walk away with $50,000. Now, there is a pocket of air in the back of the car. You have to realize this is a timed event. So any time you waste taking a breath could be time that your opponent's going to beat you with. Does so anybody have any questions? Yeah. Once you're in the back, you got to come back to the front and get out the driver's side window. Yes. Oh, man, this is deep. And either way, we're both heroes for the day because we saved a life. There yeah. you go. You saved a baby you know? dog. I feel you on that. That's, there you go. That, that's wonderful. So how do you guys feel about this now? I feel good. What happened? I'm all good. Good swimmer? My, I'm not the best swimmer, not but the uh, best swimmer? <laughs> Me neither. What about I'm not you? The best no? swimmer, well, there you go. Neither one of you is the best swimmer. Anybody have a fear of drowning? I'd rather uh, not die drowning, no. Regardless, I ain't no drown. <laughs> what do you think? Who's going to walk away with the cash? Hey, I'm going to give it my best shot, baby. That's all I can do. The powers of prognostication have lost me, Joe. No comment. Really? Yeah. The force has left you? I didn't say the forces left me. I may have to invoke it again today. I know you guys have keys with your names on them, so why don't you go ahead and put them in here so we figure out who goes first. Julius, you're number one, my man. Good to go? Ready to do it? All right, come on. Let's do it. Julius, you ready for this? That's Remember, right. $50,000, man. This is it. 
You can set it. Let's go around. Get out there and go fast. I got to. Remember to go all the way to the back seat, get that baby out. Remember there's an air pocket there if you panic. Remember, keep your hands on the yellow tape until you see that red light. Good luck, bro. Good luck, too, bud. Have some fun, baby. All right, bring him up. What sports you do, dude? I play basketball in high school. Yeah. No swimming, though, huh? Rarely. Time to get a little wet, baby. Lord Jesus Christ, get through it. I do like to rescue children in my spare time. Even fake children, right? Strong spirit, you'll get it done. Ready to rock, Pa. Spirit, spirit to move mountains, baby. What do you think is going through his mind right now? I don't think he's such a good swimmer. Why would you say that? Because I think he was a little nervous. Naturally be nervous. Wouldn't you be nervous doing this? I'd be psyched. I can no, swim. Well, I can swim, too, but, you know, it's a question of how well. Oh, dude, it's a 50-50 chance of winning $50,000. Stay safe. Stay safe. Strong spirit, you'll get it done. Ready to rock, Pa. All right, Julius, you all set? All set. Now, remember, your clock starts on the red light. When you see the red light, unstrap yourself and climb in the back seat. You must come through the front window. You ready to go? Ready. Let's rock, baby. Five, four, three, two, one, go! All right, Julius, you all set? All set. Now remember, your clock starts on the red light. When you see the red light, unstrap yourself and climb in the back seat. You must come through the front window. You ready to go? I'm ready. Let's rock, baby. Five, four, three, two, one, go! I think he's panicking. Come on, Julius. You can do it. He's all right. Oh, no. Get out the wrong window. Julius. You're eliminated. You ran through the wrong window. You got to swim to me, man. Come back to shore. You got eliminated. You went through the wrong window. You have to go back in the front seat. I, I came out the wrong window. You know? I needed some air, so you know I had to come up and get some. I wasn't even thinking about the air pocket in the back. You know, I, I just tried to get the baby and get out. You know, but apparently it wasn't good enough. Now, Derek, in order to complete this stunt, all you have to do is get through the front and you can win. You Woo. just have to do it the right way. Good luck. Hey. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey. I'm impressed your baby. Just has some fun. Remember that. Congratulations, man. Thanks. All right, Derek. Cool. It was fun. Can you give me just one second to focus myself? Go. Can I do this? Do I have the internal fortitude to complete this task and do it successfully? Can I keep my head clear of, of all the distractions going on around me and complete the task? All right, I'm good. I'm fine. All right, Derek, remember, you control your own destiny here, man. It's just you. Remember, I have to keep your hands on 10 and 2 as soon as you see the red light. That's when you unbuckle your seatbelt, climb in the back seat, make sure you exit out of the front window, and you're good to go. You ready? Ready. Good luck. Thank you, Joe. All right. All right, let's lift them up. Dad, this is for you. I'm gonna give myself a little chatter here to get fired up. 
What do you say, hey, what do you say, come babe, come now, what do you say, kid, you the one kid, what do you say now, rocket fire, here we go now, what do you say, home babe, home now, come babe, come now, what do you say, what do you say, hey now, what do you say, kid, come now, rocket fire now, babe. All right, Derek, roll up your window. Okay, you all set? Put your hands on 10 and 2, I'm going to count you down from 5, 4, 3, 2, one, go! Congratulations, dude. You're $50,000 richer. How you feeling? I feel pretty darn good, Joe. How was it? Say. What was it like? Walk there. us through it. I had it all mapped out what I was going to do before I did it. Try to keep my mind clear. Gave myself a little confidence going on. I don't know if you heard. I gave myself a little chatter like my dad would have done for me. What were you doing? What were you saying? Oh, just, you know, what they do to... The guys in the dugout do the baseball pitchers when they're, uh, when they're about to throw. Uh-huh. What is he? Come be. Come now. What is he? Come be. Come now. What is he? What is he? He now. What is he? Kid. Come down. Rock and ride up That calmed me down. Right? So. Was it what you thought it was going to be like once you got in there? Yeah, it was. But other than the fact that I couldn't see. I had a little more trouble getting the baby out than I thought. But overall, I was pretty happy with my performance, too. Well, congratulations, man. You Thank are you a $50,000 winner. And apparently, it. fear was not a factor for you, my man. Yeah, the force. we'll play Luke Skywalker. Derek, you made it through in a nail biter. The force came through for you. Probably not what I would have chosen. I mean, my mom never made these growing up. <coughs> Come beep. Come now, what is it? What is it? Hey now, what is it, kid? Come now, rock and find out, beep. like a giant pendulum over 120 feet in the air. You're gonna come crashing through that wooden sign. Go! 